The past couple of days have been quite dreary. It's rained almost every single day of the past week and it's generally just been pretty gross out. It's also pretty chilly out right now so the mixture of cold and wet is definitely not the best scenario for chickens although chickens can withstand a lot of wet weather and some breeds actually enjoy it and that's what we're going to talk about today. How wet can your chickens get and do they even enjoy getting wet? Chickens actually have a really great set of feathers that are going to protect them from a lot of the weather and extremes. Their feathers are going to be able to be weather resistant, but not weatherproof. So in the winter, they're going to keep them a lot warmer. And in the summer, they're going to be able to cool them off. But water can penetrate through them. They're not like ducks, which are totally water resistant and actually love and need the water in a part of their life. Now, chickens can definitely go outside when it's raining. We do free range our chickens and oftentimes we'll keep it open so they can go inside and outside of their coop. And I definitely suggest that if you're gonna let your chickens be able to go outside during rain, that you do give them areas to stay dry because it is really important, but most of the time they are gonna really enjoy it, especially if it's a light rain because it really softens up the ground, allowing them to get some nice insects, worms, and grubs straight from the ground that usually they would have to scratch at and dig a lot deeper for that are now just rising up because of the water. So that's definitely a large plus. And most of the time, if it does get too wet, they'll just go back to their coop. We have a big underhang over here. So if it's wet out, they can kind of still be outside, enjoy some of the outside area, get some vitamin D from the outdoor. They can go into their little dirt holes that they have and do some dirt baths there, which does help remove a lot of insects and bugs and help keep the chicken a lot cleaner and healthier long term. So it's really important to have those sections for your chicken. I'm Danielle of the Soro Homestead where we share our journey of creating a homestead so that you can learn to live a more self-sustainable lifestyle. We share one to two videos per week and we're so happy to have you along for the journey. In the summer, chickens can definitely tolerate a lot more of the rain because it is gonna be a lot warmer. So it's not gonna be as harmful for a chicken as say in the winter, which we're actually in now, hence the hat. Um, so the colder temperatures are going to be a lot harder with the wet temperatures because it is going to be a breeding ground for a lot more things that you need to be worried of. And the first thing to think about is the actual breed of your chickens. So here we live in the northeast of the United States and we've decided to choose a hardier chicken. So I definitely suggest depending on where you live, you choose a chicken that's good in your area. It can get pretty chilly in the northeast where we are, dropping down to nothing too extreme, honestly, but the lowest it's ever been here is probably 10 degrees Fahrenheit, so I know not really extreme, but still does get pretty chilly. We get snow, and we do get days that are 20 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended amount of time. So we did choose a hardier chicken, chickens that are much better in this environment, and they're gonna be able to withstand the winter wetness a lot better than say a silky that is just not gonna be able to be out in that rainy, cold weather, and it can be very detrimental for them. So I definitely suggest looking into the breeds of chickens that you have, selecting breeds that are gonna be hardier if you live in that environment, and if you have breeds that aren't as hardy that are a part of your flock that you're just taking care of them a little bit differently. I wouldn't necessarily let out a silky in the rain, especially if it's cold out, because it can be pretty harmful for them. And they just might not notice, especially if some of the other chickens are out and about being outside, pecking around to the ground. Rain not only is going to affect chickens during the act of it raining, because they are gonna get wet, that wetness can then be brought into the coop or surrounding the coop area. And this can cause a few different things like fungal infections, which once your chicken gets a fungal infection, it's highly uncommon, but once they do get it, it can be detrimental to your chicken as well as spread within the flock. Similar
Similarly, you can get mold to spore up around your homestead and around the coop. So I definitely suggest checking out your coop area, making sure that there's no mold. And if things do get wet, that you're applying a fresh layer of dry bedding to help dry out the area so that mold and funguses do not start to grow in this area. Your chicken's respiratory system is not the strongest. And if they are breathing in some of these molds and fungal airs that are in the environment that they're in all the time, it is going to lead to them getting sick and them getting sick can definitely lead to affecting the whole entire flock and it's really hard to cure. So anything that you can do to prevent things from growing because of the water is going to be key. Another item that can be caused from the wet and cold variation is going to be parasitical infections, which are also very dangerous for your flock. They spread really easy and they're really hard to catch and cure. So especially in the environment today where you're getting your chickens because there really aren't that many eggs or egg prices are really getting really high. What can you do to keep your flock really safe, happy, healthy, and prevent anything bad? It's just going to be making sure that you really do keep them with a good dry coop. Chick days are right around the corner and baby chicks are actually going to be more susceptible from damage from water, mostly because their feathers haven't feathered out. So they really don't have the weatherproofing that an older chicken would have. And it's even more vital to protect them from the water. Making sure that your chicks are in a dry, warm area is definitely the number one best practice of raising baby chicks. But it's really important even as they get a little bit older and they're maybe just like a young adolescent chick, as long as they aren't fully feathered out, you do want to keep them dry. Moisture can cause more chilly weather to come in. Usually when it is raining, there's going to be accompanying by wind. And that means that a cold chill can come to your baby chicks and cause them to get cold really, really quickly. And Hypothermia is a really quick and easy way to shorten your chick's lifespan. So I definitely suggest keeping them even more dry than any of your other chickens until they are fully feathered out and they're able to actually be outside in those harsher environments. Woo! It's cold out today. And the number one way that you can really protect your chickens, both young and old, is by keeping their coop dry. So if there is any wet bedding, you should be replacing it with dry bedding. You should be cleaning out your coop from any wetness, preventing any wetness from getting in it, making sure that you have a roof over top of it. And you have all areas sealed so that there is dry spaces for your chickens to hang out and dry off as well as making sure that you have good ventilation within your chicken coop. Now you're going to love having good ventilation because it's going to make the chicken coop not be as smelly and it's going to help some of those gases actually escape from the coop, but it's also going to help dry up the coop as well. So it's really important that you do have really good ventilation. Now in the end, chickens can definitely get wet. A lot of our chickens love to free range in the wetter temperatures and when it is currently raining, but this still means that you need to protect them. You need to have a space that they can dry off in. They can be dry. And if they don't want to be out in the wet weather, you do provide that space for them. And just always take a look at your chickens and make sure that everyone's doing healthy and you're keeping a coop that isn't going to get moldy or get any type of diseases or fungal items that could be in it. But that's it for today. We'll see you guys again next time. Bye.